You know, I always heard that about, you know, getting on your soapbox, but apparently I'm now getting on to the recycle bin or something like this, which is somewhat refitting of, of where we are. I want to thank you so much for being here, for, for sort of the office opening, the, the campaign launch, although, as you may be aware, we've been working hard for the last, uh, well, really since the start of the summer, that we've been turning our mind to and saying, okay, we've had an incredible run over the last three years. Um, there's some amazing things that we've been able to do, and I'm going to talk about that for a few seconds. Uh, but a recognition that, boy, we've just barely got started and we've got to keep it going. I want to say and start off by recognizing that, at least in the Canadian system, that a mayor is only as good and as strong as the council members around him. Uh, I have some absolutely incredible people that we've been working with over the last three years. Uh, and, uh, I mean, and, and some of them are here. We somehow, Lynn Hunter, where did you go? Lynn Hunter is there. She's been an incredible part of the team. Lynn's been really carrying the ball for us on, on Tourism Victoria, really making sure that we are marrying up both the environment and uh, some of the economic development stuff that we're doing, making sure that we're going forward on a sustainable community. And that's been a fantastic work that Lynn's been doing, as well as all the other efforts that we've been moving on. John Luton's been here. Strangely enough, he's been working on bikes. Um, <laughs> But John's been doing more of that. John's chair of our finance committee. He's really been grinding in, taking a look at saying how, I mean, we can talk about bikes, but we talk about infrastructure. That's roads, that's sewers, that's water. It's not that sexy because it's all underground, but John's been in there grinding away with the rest of us, but really leading the charge on that. That's why he's now also uh, part of our liaison to downtown Victoria. Recognizing, again, that we need to have a strong, vibrant, interesting downtown. That's what makes for a great city. So John's been really working on that. Latest member of the team, and I'm going to say the last year has been absolutely fantastic having Marianne Alto uh, here as part of the team. <laughs> Housing, harm reduction, environment, economy, open government, making sure that we are out there and accountable and representative of the people that we're supposed to represent. Marianne's been bringing all of that to the table in the last year. God, if she got all of that done in a year, imagine if you guys actually let her deal another three years at this. Pam Madoff, it can't be here today. She just uh, had a small sort of um, personal item, uh, surgery. Prevent small. <laughs> I was going to say, it's an election, you know, <laughs> just go. Uh, it doesn't matter. She'll be back with us. And of course, Pam, you know, as you know, has really been leading the charge always on how we develop. How do we make sure that we preserve the Victoria that enriches us and defines us? and still helps us move forward in the future in the way that we want to be. You know, for official community plan, we surveyed, talked to, met with, had mock cocktails with, more than 6,000 people were involved in our consultation to say, where are we going with Victoria in the next 30 years? And it was really kind of cool. I remember speaking to 600 students at Vic High. I said, where do you want your city to be? What do we need more of? And some young dude stands up, hat backwards, goes, I want more skate parks. And I said, when you're 30 years from now, are you going to use that skate park? And he stopped for a minute and then he said, no, but my kid will. And I went, good. Now you're thinking about the future that you want. And it's true. He'd probably be, be there with a couple of his rugrats, showing them how to do what are those crazy things. Cody, tell me what that thing is that you do, the uh, half gnarly or whatever they call those things. <laughs> um, I'm a skier, man. I don't know the skate park terms. Um, but that's been the kind of the input we got because that's where we want to go. We have done an amazing job over the last three years, um, and we've got a better job to do. And, and I often say, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. We may have made some decisions that not everybody agrees with. Hopefully, we've learned from our mistakes and are moving forward on those. But you know, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Damn it, we've made some decisions, we made things happen this year, and I think that's a change, and that's a change we want to keep going. What have we done? More than 800 units of housing direct units of housing for the hard to house, for families, for seniors. And actually we're now moving into how can we get market rentals. These are exciting things that make sure that everyone, everyone, and it's so amazing to stand here, people like everyone here can afford to live in this city, can afford to start a business in the city, start your career, start your family. You know, and I hate to say it, but from scooters to strollers, we want to make sure that Victoria is here from everyone. And that's what's so cool about this room. 
We have people from the labor side and we have people from the business side and they're local businesses and they're people that are making a difference in our community. We've got social service providers here. We've got young people, we've got old people and people like me in between. Okay. <laughs> Plug. Um, okay, young at heart. Um, but that's what we're trying to build. We're trying to build a city that is opening and welcoming a city for everyone. You know, we're not Carmel, we're not Calcutta, we are everything in between. And that's what we want to do. We really do thank your support over the last three years. It seems like we just barely got started. We want to keep it rolling on housing. We want to keep it rolling on public transportation. You know, from the guys that bought you, brought you the late night bus service, we want to keep that going. We've got some big challenges coming ahead, whether it be light rail, whether it be sewage, how are we going to afford that? The big challenge is to make sure that we have an opportunity to grow the economic pie so we don't have to increase taxes. Um, we want more people pitching in so we can afford sewage treatment because we know that we have to do that. So we can afford light rail transit. If we get the feds and the province in, then it's the cost of doing business. But instead of running more buses, we can run light rail and expand the bus service. That's what we need to do. We will have that challenge in front of us. There's a great article that said, how do you get to be a progressive in the age of austerity? We have the challenge, we have the ability. In three or four days, we're gonna roll out our economic development strategy. A strategy that talks about how do we create local, good quality, what we call household sustaining jobs, whether it be in tourism, whether it be in shipbuilding, whether it be in the arts, whether it be in education. There's so many things that make Victoria strong and we're going to continue to make it the best city we can. Think about it. We're the number one micro city in all of, well, actually the world, I think. Uh, a small place called Financial Times of London said, you want to invest here. We are the most romantic city in Canada. That's kind of a cool place to start from. Um, <laughs> you know, we are so many things and we did that without trying. Imagine when we focus and say, let's go make sure that quality of opportunity matches the quality of life that we want to deliver. We've got the people around us, we've got the team that can do it, and with your support, we can get reelected and we can get three more years of keeping the momentum going, making the changes that we need to do to make sure that our city remains the best city in the world. Thank you guys. Thank you. Great message. There's still some food left. Um, <coughs> sign up, take Buttons. a sign, make a donation, come yeah. up to the fundraiser next week. Many things to have happen, but most importantly, we're gonna need your vote on the 19th. Mm -hmm. That's what counts. Thanks for helping get it out. Thanks guys. Yeah. Excellent. Good to see you. Lovely to be there talking to you again. <laughs> yeah.